All right, welcome to today's video. I am Dr. Taylor Crick, and today's video is called How to Use a, an App on Your Phone. How to Use a Binaural Beats App on Your Phone to Shift the Gears of Your Brain. So it's, it's really kind of a cool concept. It's an app that's uh, the one that I'm going to show you today is, you know, a, a couple of bucks. There are several out there, but I'm going to explain, you know, a little bit about the mechanisms, but then show you the app. And, and how you can use this app. So first off, you know, how to shift the gears of your brain, right? That's a, an interesting metaphor. And we all know what that means when, when it comes to the gears of our car, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And, and the point of this is that in today's world of like stress, 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 we have trouble sometimes down shifting or turning, uh, turning the stress response off and we hear so often you know in clinical practice somebody that gets poor sleep and they're like I, I just can't turn my brain off or they're just go 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 or they're always just like revving at, at, at high rpm so that's really the metaphors that we're downshifting and changing the gears of the brain so what does that mean what are the gears of the brain well your brain has certain wavelengths okay so first gear might be like at the bottom down here, uh, delta waves. So delta is your deep sleep. Uh, delta waves are long, slow waves. Children spend a lot of time in, in delta. That's why I'm even rocking them to sleep. Children also spend a lot of time in REM. Um, but rocking, and even why like, you know, sleeping on a hammock can kind of sync your motion and your rhythm to those deep, slow wavelengths. So a step above that is theta. So maybe that's like second gear. That's like when you're um, like half asleep, half awake, and you're kind of dreaming, but you kind of remember it. And it's kind of like maybe your alarm went off and, and you lay there and you snooze it for 15 minutes. You're kind of like half awake, half asleep. That's more of your theta state. So it's deep relaxation. It's when you're doing mental imagery, when you're kind of like daydreaming too. Uh, and theta is also a meditative state as well. So then the next one up is alpha. Uh, you're relaxed. You're not thinking, but you're also not sleeping. You know, maybe you're you're kind of watching TV. You're kind of zoned out, but you're kind of chill, right? You're you're lucid. You're calm. You're conscious, uh, but you're just kind of chill. Uh, then higher up, we have things like beta, uh, and then there's you know an SMR wave, but there's also some gamma waves. There's some other waves that aren't necessarily on here, but gamma and beta waves are going to be the highest level waves. So then you're a little bit more aware, you're a little bit more alert, and beta being the highest level, and, and I don't know where gamma falls. I think gamma is even uh, higher than that, uh, but that's when you're more awake, when you're uh, you know normal, alert, conscious. Um, so those are some of the wavelengths of your brain and it doesn't really matter, but I just want to explain the concepts that your brain does have certain wavelengths and that's what we're doing when we refer to the gears of your brain is we're shifting and changing those wavelengths and trying to induce a certain state. Now where I heard about this technology was from uh, a place out in Salt Lake that, that deals with serious head traumas and brain injuries and, and they do um, intense brain scans I, and I forget what it is I think it's EEG I don't think it, it's not fMRI I think it's uh, EEG but it's it's really expensive and they do very 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 detailed scans of your brain and determine which areas are firing and not firing and maybe it is fMRI for, for that um, Sounds like it, but uh, I forget, I should have looked it up. But then you do four days of intense exercises and brain retraining, and it's mentally exhausting. It's like 10 hours a day, and then they rescan at the end of four days, and that's kind of the treatment protocol. And there are, uh, you know, they have a list of, of professional football players and hockey players and, and guys that have been out there uh, and ladies. Uh, but really cool, but this is one of the tools that they use is binaural beats. And, and there is some literature, you know, supporting this. So what does a binaural beat mean? Well, it means that there's two different frequencies. So up here, this is a monaural beat, meaning that one frequency, like 480 hertz, uh, 440 hertz, 480 hertz, or there's a there's what two frequencies and there's a uh, there's like a subtraction between the two, but you're getting both into the ear, um, into one ear or both ears simultaneously. Now binaural, what binaural means is that they're going to put that 440 hertz in one side 
and a different frequency like 480 hertz into the other side and your brain picks up the difference between those two and it perceives it as a 40 hertz ampulus sti uh, amplitude stimulus so by, by playing a sound in one ear and a sound in the other ear, that's why you have to wear headphones to do this, but it plays basically one frequency in one ear and one frequency in the other ear. Your brain picks up the difference and sets the brain to certain wavelengths. So like I said, there is some literature on this. I, I didn't do like a full you know, literature review. I just pulled one example that's in front tiers of psychiatry, um, auditory beat stimulation and its effects on cognition and mood states. And that's probably where I got this image. But I did uh, you know, do a literature search on this. So there's some interesting stuff out there. But this is more of a how-to video. So here is the app that I like. It's called Brainwave. It has 35 different binaural programs. As you can see, it has 6,600 6, 6, ratings at 4.9 stars, which is a pretty good rating, right? Um, and it's 4.99, so it's relatively inexpensive in the app world, you know, it's not 99 cents, but uh, relatively inexpensive, and it's something you can do at all times. So the cool thing about this, I'm about to show you the app, but you can listen to this like while you're talking to somebody. You can listen to this while you're doing the dishes. You can listen to this even while you're watching TV. You can listen to music. You can listen to podcasts. I used to use binaural beats uh, in the gym, and I'd also listen to a podcast at the same time. My staff at my old clinic would know that if I had my headphones in, they could probably still talk to me because I probably just had binaural beats in. Um, and you could play an ambient sound in the background too, like waves or rain or you know flowing flowing stream or whatever. So you could have other sounds playing. And this really, this hurts, these frequencies, they sound like white noise. So you could be doing other things. You don't have to have them super loud. Your brain's still going to detect those frequencies and set to certain wavelengths. So in the app, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to show you some examples of some of the 35 different programs. So this is morning coffee. You can see right below it, espresso shot. You can probably imagine the difference. Morning coffee is a longer program. Espresso shot is more of a quick burst. Up here where this white line is shows that this is a 40 minute program. And I'm going to show you that in a second. This is the volume of the brain waves. This is the volume of your ambient noise if you choose to have any ambient noise. And right now I have mine set on ocean waves. Down here is the info button. So if I click on that, what we see is the program details. That morning coffee is a 40 minute program and it has four stages. And it begins with a series of theta and alpha waves that gently lead into higher frequency beta and gamma waves to ease your mind into the day and bring you to a heightened state of mental focus and awareness. Use in the morning while in bed or while getting ready for work. Very cool. Now, Espresso Shot, I'll tell you, I think is a, a 10 minute program and it says uh, a rapid burst of energy, heightening, you know, getting you to a higher state you know, right away, so not a gentle, uh, gently lead into you know the the higher frequency waves. Uh, so here's another another program. So I'm just going to show two examples, and you can set your time, but the the minimum time is, is you know what you want to go for. But uh, and you can keep it going all all day long. There's there's a motivation boost. There's there's calm reflection. There's anger relief. There's theta meditation. There's deep and dreamy sleep. There's even like a, a hangover relief and a headache relief. So different things that you can try. So this one's reduce anxiety. These are probably two of the most popular ones, you know, reduce anxiety for obvious reasons. And, and then the morning coffee one for, you know, getting your brain just kind of ramped up in the morning. So these are the two that, that, that we use more frequently, you know, with my, with my patients and my clients. But so reduce anxiety, 40 minute program as well. But you can see the difference here. It's also a four stage program, but it's a combination of low delta, delta theta, and mid theta range sequences designed to induce deep relaxation followed by a period of lucid calm. Sounds pretty dreamy, right? Use while lying down and relaxing or while meditating. So really, really cool uh, $4.99 app, a binaural beats app, uh, but just a really, really cool application and really cool that, you, that it's actually possible to downshift or to upshift or to shift the gears of your brain. So, uh, you know, something that we find really, really useful. Uh, so try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below.